Hello and welcome to another XFX tutorial. Today I will show you how to use the scenes. In every XFX2 you have eight scenes which are storing the following informations. The state of the on-off FX on-off of every block and the XY states of every block. Just to give you a quick demonstration, I am here in scene 1 and if I switch to scene 2, you hear that's a distortion effect coming through it. If I switch to layout, you can see here that in scene 1 the drive block is off and in scene 2 the drive block is on. The other scenes the drive block is on too because when I dial in a drive block or any other block in a sound it is applied to all scenes and it is switched on in all scenes and you have to audition it and put it the way you want. So I decide for me that I want to have the drive block enabled in scene Oh, I, I mean I want it only enabled in scene 3 and 4, let's say. So I disable it in scene 2. In scene 3 it's enabled, I want that. Scene 4, 2. Scene 5, I don't want to have it. 6, 7, 8, off. So now I only have the drive block enabled in scene 4 and scene 3. The scenes are very practical if you are recording at home and don't want to bring your MFC 101 from your car and so you can store different states you normally use for recording without attaching the foot controller and without going into the layout button and scrolling through all the parameters and switching them on or off. So you can just have a, a dry sound on scene 1 then just chorus on scene 2 and um, a dry distorted sound on scene 3 and a uh, distorted sound with delay on scene 4, for example. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to show you that it also stores the x, y parameters and I want to have from scene 1 to 4 a clean Cit Citrus uh, RV50 amp, which I already dialed in in the amp section and 5 to 8 I want to have a distorted amp, the same amp but with distortion sound which I already programmed via the XY parameters. I will show it to you. I go to the amp and then I go to edit. Here on X you have the clean sound and on Y you have the distorted sound. Clean, distorted. This is stored just in the X and Y parameters. And I want to have on scene 1 clean sound Okay, I just switched to Y, so I switch back to X. Layout, scene one, clean sound, clean sound. Okay, that's the drive block, but it's not the distorted M signal. So just for now, I switch the drive block off again. Whoops. FX bypass. And the same for scene four. So now everywhere the amp is clean, but I want, it, want to have it distorted on scene 5, 6 and 7. So I start with scene 8 and go to amp, press edit and just press Y. Then I go back to layout because I can't use the A knob here. It's um, rooted to the base parameter. So I have to go back to layout to change the scene to 7. Then I press edit Y. Then I go back to layout, go back to scene 6, press edit and press Y. Then I go back to layout and go to scene 5, press edit and Y. And now I have it. Scene 1 to 4 are clean and 5 to 8 are distorted. And this is just with the M, either on X or on Y. 
If you don't know this X or Y thing, I made a tutorial video about it and you can watch that and come back later. Now we want to have a chorus. And I put in the chorus here before the drive block. Chorus, there it was. Enter. This chorus is now in all scenes except two and I don't know why but it doesn't matter. I want to have the chorus on scene. I don't want to have it on scene one. I want to have it on scene two and I don't want to have it on scene three or four and I don't want to have it on scene five. I want to have it on scene six but I want another chorus. So I go to edit. This is the analog stereo chorus and it's the Y parameter. I put this one, just this one, to X, which is the digital mono chorus, and I change that to the my favorite chorus, the Japan CE2. And that's it. Go back to layout. Here you see the chorus is on, the analog stereo. And then I go back to layout, go to scene number six, go to edit and you see it's on X. So the X of X stores these X or Y states in every scene. Now I want to put in a delay. Put this here, delay one, enter. So, and let's, let's now see, delay is on, on scene one, it's off on scene two. So normally the X of X puts in the delay in every sound. But if I did something in this preset with scenes already, I just give you one advice, audition every sound and check if the delay is on or off and switch it so it's like you want it. Okay, so we will audition. It's on in scene one. It's on in scene two, off in scene three, on in scene four, off in scene five, off in scene six, seven, and on in scene eight. Now, just switch it like you want it. You can see that if it has a dotted line, it's off. And if it's just a block, then it's on. And so you can make eight sub presets, I call them. You can dial in with this knob or, which I will show you now, with your foot switch. MFC 101, preferably. And uh, we're now going to switch to the bottom camera and I will show you this. To assign the scenes to the MFC 101, I will show you for an example how to assign scene 1 to this switch and scene 2 to this switch. So you press the edit button. Then you go to the MIDI menu and with the page button you scroll to IA here, the first IA parameter here. Then to choose this button you have to increase that until you are at IA11. Then with parameter you go to this parameter and then you increase or decrease and look for scene 1. And there it is. Then with parameter you go back to IA11, uh, increase to 12, then with parameter you go with, to this one and increase until you find scene 2. There it is. Then you press exit save and to check it scene 1, scene 2, scene 1, scene 2. Of course, you can assign all buttons to scenes if you want, all eight, um, I mean eight buttons, and you can also assign a button to increase and decrease the scenes. Uh, I recommend using direct buttons. It's always working better and you have enough switches on the MFC 101. And if you don't have enough switches, you can um, connect additional switches here at the back. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you had fun and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.